Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many Angular developers encounter. Our viewer is curious about the best way to handle the implicit flow callback in Angular 4, specifically how to ensure that the auth guard waits for the user to be redirected back with the token before determining access. They mention experiencing an access denied route for a few seconds before the authentication process completes. Let's dive into this challenge and explore effective solutions together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Now, remember to say just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now let's continue on. To handle the implicit flow callback in Angular 4 effectively, we need to ensure that the auth guard waits for the user to be redirected back with the token before it checks for authentication. In the app component, we check if there is a hash in the URL. If there is, it indicates that the user is being redirected from the authentication server. We then call the authorize callback method. The authorize callback method processes the URL hash to extract the token. If the token is valid, we store it and navigate to the home page. If there is an error, we redirect to the Access Denied page. In the Auth Guard, we check if the user is logged in. If not, we redirect to the Access Denied page. This check should only occur after the token has been validated. By implementing these steps, we ensure that the auth guard only checks for authentication after the token has been processed, preventing premature access denied errors. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. In Angular, the CanActivate method can return an observable, promise, or boolean. Angular will handle these asynchronously. You can modify your code to check for required data before returning an observable or promise to the router. If access is denied, you can call this.navigationService.accessDenied. And that's it guys. I hope the video helped find the resolution that you're looking for and you got the answer and worked your way through. If it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.